Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. You know, I, those of you who know me, you know I teach workshops all over, abstract painting workshops. And what I've found over the last, you know, few years, four or five years, specifically is the students that I have in class don't know a whole lot about color. They seem completely confused about what colors to use, how to use color, how to mix color, uh, you know, and if it's not in a jar or if it doesn't come out of a tube, they don't, they don't know how to mix it. You know, warm colors and cool colors and how do you mix, you know, tertiary colors, how do you mix secondary colors? You know, kind of basic stuff that I would think, you know, most st students know before they get to a workshop, but since they don't, and we teach it, I teach it extensively, in the course of a three or four or five day workshop. But what I found out and what I realized is that there needs to be a really good, no nonsense online course about color. So I developed one and it's called All About Color. And it just came out. I'm real excited about it. I've been working on it for a long time. These are some of the demo paintings I did for the course. Uh, some of many, many demo paintings and demos, you know, uh, exercises for, you know, mixing color. How do you mix greens? How do you mix violets? How do you mix oranges? How do you work with cool colors and warm colors? And what, what effect does that have on your mixing orange or violet or green uh, or yellow green or yellow orange or red orange? You know, how does all that work? How do you determine how to make harmonious color in a painting. Um, you know, and we look at what did Van Gogh do? What did Monet do? Uh, what did Cezanne do? What kind of common denominators did they use as, system, as a system to plan, you know, the colors for their painting so that they were harmonious? Uh, you know, what's a mother color? For goodness sake, what's a mother color? Or an analogous colors? What are tetrads? <laughs> you know, and we talk about all of this stuff. And if you don't know what a tetrad is, or analogous colors are, or a mother color, maybe you need a, a refresher, or maybe you need further education on colors, and maybe you need all about color. We're gonna, I'm gonna show a little trailer of just a few little, you know, picks from uh, the course, and I'll be right back. All right, so let's move on to the cool blue and the warm yellow. You're gonna have a very different look and feel here as you can see it's a beautiful green think about the landscape if you're a landscape painter think how gorgeous that green would be oh my gosh and of course you know bluer right bluer wow that's fantastic it's like the color of summer around here look at that how beautiful is that wow Man, I'm just constantly amazed by color. So over here, I'm going back to my cool yellow, Benzema Dazzalone yellow, medium magenta, same as I used here for my red, and then teal, which is a bright, middle value, beautiful, beautiful uh, blue-green. So look, what I, look at the intensity of these greens. Pretty close to a neutral gray. Right, and I really like, this is a really beautiful, all of these are really, really beautiful hues. Um, really, really beautiful, really fantastic. So you can imagine, you know, this range of, of color, you know, in, in a painting. And you can take any of these, of course, and make them lighter. All right, we could continue to add white to this to make it. Wow. We get this amazing color. And I'm going to put some white in here so you can see this color better. Wow, look how gorgeous that is. Holy cow, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. See a beautiful range in here. Look, at, look how beautiful this is. And see if this has too, if this is turning too green, then maybe it has too much blue in it. I'm trying to integrate a little of this yellow down here. I'm not trying to take away from any center of interest that I might develop up here. 
let's see, I need to start thinking about where would I put center of interest and where would those colors possibly want to be. So I'm going to start putting in some accent color and I'm going to make sure we get plenty of yellow in here and then work these edges much like we did down below. some scraping just for fun I <laughs> mean right we're trying to we're trying to have fun here right some more of this pink see this pink this red violet that I have here I really think that's hot looking so maybe we put some of that somewhere else just for just for funsies to say we did it what do you think huh Oh yeah, babe. Now that's fun stuff right there. Well, I hope that gives you some idea of what we're doing and all about color. And I would love for you to join us there. Uh, it's at an introductory price right now because it just came out. That price is only going to last probably three or four weeks. And then it's going to go to its regular price, which is going to be significantly more than what I'm offering at now. So if you want to get on the ground floor, if you want it, if you're interested in color, how to make good color for your paintings, uh, what is it about color that I'm missing? Maybe you're asking yourself. Well, click the link in the description and that'll take you to a page that'll tell you all about the course and give you options for signing up. Hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.